What's up y'all, my name is Kai McPhee and I'm a fashion content creator and today we're gonna be making a balaclava and we're gonna get right into the video. Step one, print out your balaclava pattern. I got my balaclava pattern off of Etsy for about $6 and I will link the specific one in my description. Step two, decide what fabric you wanna use. So for my first balaclava that I made, I used a uh, old sweater and some t-shirts. But today I'll be using a tapestry rug. Step three, decide what size you wanna do. I think I'm gonna make my all of my balaclavas a size medium because I think that's the average head size for most humans. Step four, you're gonna cut out your pattern. Reminder, you're gonna need two sides. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're gonna put a weight on top of this so the pattern won't move and you're literally just gonna cut around it. So once you cut out your piece, what you're gonna do is just flip it on the wrong side and then you're gonna cut around that. All right, now that both pieces are cut out, what you're going to do is you're gonna pin them while they're still down. Just pin all around it. Also a tip, when you're pinning, make sure that you pin horizontally to the line and stuff. So when you sew, it won't, um, you don't have to keep taking them out. Like you can sew over it. All right, y'all, welcome to my sewing machine. I know my table is a mess right now, but I'm working on a lot of things. For those who know how to sew, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do a straight stitch across the balaclava and stuff all around, just a regular straight stitch. Make sure that your settings are good for a straight stitch, not too much tension and stuff. And yeah, we're just gonna sew it real quick. Right, guys so this is the balaclava um what you're going to do now you're not done yet i mean you could keep it with the raw edges but what you're going to do is while it's still inside out you're going to fold it literally fold it just a little bit like roll it you see fold it and pin it and then sew it down so you can have clean edges so yeah flipping it inside out is probably the easiest well flipping it the regular way is probably the easiest to do this but you just put it in and then you're just gonna do a straight stitch all across it. Now, this is an additional step after you do this, but if you have a serger, perfect. That's always the word I was trying to think of. If you have a serger, you can also do it like this, but I like to just do a, um, a zigzag stitch along the edges so it allows less fraying to occur, especially with this type of fabric. Okay, so as your final step, what you're going to do is you're gonna flip it back to how it's supposed to be and you're going to an iron and you're going to literally iron down the seams. That is when you literally put an iron on the seam and flatten it out so it can be very smooth and not be so, you see how it's like a little bump and stuff. We're just gonna go to our um, iron real quick and iron it down. All right guys, after all those steps, your balaclava should be done and I'm gonna try it on. So with this one, um, I will say that it is tight to put on, but then, cause obviously it's the neck, but it's you're able to put it on. But yeah, this is how the balaclava looks. I like it. I'll probably be selling this one. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I will be doing more tutorials more often. Um, I guess a nice tutorial that you could also do is the Yeezy uh, mask that is very easy to do. So yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully your bottle cover comes out good and I will be selling some of my Depop, so follow my Depop as well. So yeah, bye.